Hi, it's Brian Jessen with Wintrust. Here's your Friday, July 26th update, mostly about housing, a little bit about inflation, what's on tap for next week. So we'll start with existing home sales, homes that have been built already on the market. They're down about four, 5.4% year over year. Less sales, why? Because prices are so high. Prices are up 4.1% year over year. They're starting to flatten out. You're starting to see a slower market. The month supply has gone up a little bit to a little over four months. A balanced market is about five to six months of supply. So we're starting to move a little bit more in that direction, which is good if you're a mortgage shopper. Uh, new home sales down about 1% year over year. We do need more housing starts. We need more new housing. And housing starts, though they're up month over month, they're still down over 4% year over year. And then building permits up versus May, but again, down a little over 3% year over year. So we need more of that inventory, more building going on and it isn't happening. Um, overall, on inflation, um, we're running about 2.5% year over year and without food and energy about 2.6. It really wants to be two, but it is way down from where it was and that's good, but still not quite at the Fed's goal. Mortgages were flat for the week, really there wasn't enough activity, positive or negative, to move the market. What's on tap for next week? Fed meeting announcement next Wednesday. The press conference will be really important because they'll indicate whether they're interested in lowering rates in September, maybe indicating a second decrease would be super helpful. And the employment report is next Friday, which is a big report. So Brian Jessen, Wintrust Mortgage, please like and share this video. I appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Let's have a conversation. Bye now.